Pete, help me out here. Yeah, Pete. Pete? Exactly, thank you. That's what I was talking about. Pete makes a good point. Look, let me put this to rest for you, Emily. Bam! See? And did we all die in a blazing inferno? No. So you can relax now. Wow, Cliff, you're right. I'm so relaxed. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment... So what I'm getting from this is that Emily had some stuff to deal with before the game started. Um, I want to, okay, so things have reset, yes. But can we get into the basement now? Oh, this is the code. This is the place to put this code. Uh, this one, 278. Cool. We can now just go to the basement, which means we can go in here. Nope, nope, this way. Uh, and then in theory, we can put in the same Minesweeper code. So, my brain can hold on to it for a second. There we go. And then we turn the power on. And now I can fiddle with the breaker box upstairs without having a freaking psycho breathing down my neck. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oh, we want power from here to here. We want to connect the pluses and the minuses. Because uh, there's nothing that goes straight across, so it's going to go... I wonder if these are the same as they were last time. Here we go. Yeah. So now plus goes to plus. And minus. Um, there, here. Okay. Well, that works for that. Then I need to fix... No. I'm hmm. I'm assuming that connecting the pluses and the minuses is bad. Hey, there we go. Got it. Button. I can now open the door. Oh, we're gonna just go outside. Cool. Whoa, whoa. Uh, hi. I can't do anything. Move. Emily, move. The meat ground? As opposed to ground meat? Hmm, the outside is a little weirder than it was last time. Hi. Hello, not Parker. Hello, Emily. It is Emily, right? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're that old guy I met at the gas station. At least, I think there was a gas station. My name is Parker Nest. Do you feel strange spending so much time in my home? Your home? We're not really in a mountain retreat in Pennsylvania. This pla That place isn't your home. Is not Rome still Rome? Are these uh, are these really the last days of the Roman Empire? Ugh, please, make sense. Tell me, when that creature, that homunculus, when it attacked you, did you feel it? Did you feel anything when you die? The homunculus. So it's not Parker, it's something Parker made. Learning to ignore it, what the hell kind of question is that? Homunculus. 
that what that thing is? I imagine you must blame me for what's happening to... Frankly, I do too. FMA now? Well, possibly. Find to whom this cruel world appears and you will and you will know why it appears so cruel. In the attic you will find a device I've built. Something Burroughs told me something told me about some time before he pissed off to Tangier. It's called an accumulator. It's supposed to aid in cellular reassembly. Uh yeah. Um but a lot of literary references in this game. Uh, I'm assuming that's William Burroughs. I built I built it believing it would extend my hal uh, halcyon days. Of course, I was in my 50s. I should have known that time was already behind me. Still, I hoped it would help me. It would help regain some feelings I once had. Naturally, it didn't. Instead, over time, it made the house. It made you. It made that thing, the homunculus. And it made a liar out of me. The only comfort that brings me that brings me regarding the predicament I seem to have gotten you into is that it keeps creating and recreating you, but it won't last forever. In fact, I suspect mere f I suspect the mere fact that we're having this conversation now is a sign that both of us are in some kind of hot water. You think? The accumulator is the maker of the world in which we live. It alone can change it or unmake it. So we need to find the accumulator. And the clock said 1030, just like the other clock. No way I'm unlocking this again. Okay. Ness accumulator is the only way out now. So we need to find a way. There's not even a button. I can't even try again. Okay. We haven't even found the attic. So there, there was a door up here we could not open now. Wait, are Persona... Or are we Full Metal Alchemist? I mean, I think we're everything. I mean, look at here. Uh, here's Frankenstein. Here's Dracula. Um, there's manuscript pages from uh, a person who was here before. Just stuff. Uh, and then there's that. Yeah, all the creepy sounds just constantly. Nope, that way, this way. We haven't been able to open this one. There's a device. Teal wire leads up to a box with a little spotlight. Okay. Okay. So we want to route the power to that. The teal wire. That's a goal. That's a thing we can do. Come on. Um, is this open, or do we have to go into the basement again? Yeah, we gotta go in the basement again. Alright. Then... Oh. Oh, it's crossed out. That's interesting. Um, we want... No. It was this one, 278. Then we go down here. Then we put in our Minesweeper code. Then we can turn on the power. A bunch of stuff down here we haven't done, too. And then this way. And this. So now we're hooking up this side. Easy enough. Uh, except now it crosses. I wonder... I'm kind of assuming that we don't want to like connect the plus and minus. 
because that's generally bad. So we want... Okay, so there's the plus. And then the minus is coming up here, so we can do... <laughs> no. Oh, that's... okay. So then... Except not. Do... Kind of. Uh, like that. Except not. Uh, just, just. Okay, no, that wasn't good. Oh! Right, okay. And then... Plus... Almost. Of course, trying to slightly block puzzles while needing to pee. Because then we could do. These two are exactly the same. How? That's not useful. Then... No. Okay. I'm... I need to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then solve that puzzle. One second. <laughs> Okay. Continue. I'm also just now realizing that I didn't turn on stream avatars. Oh well. Thank you. Okay. So we can get to... Okay, I really just need... That. But then this... Don't work no more. I'm just going to break everything. Well, the plus still works. Oh, well, that's the most direct path for the plus. Uh... And then we could bring this one over here. And then... and then what? Both of these are the same. Uh, 
course, this is on a freaking timer. Like that? No. <laughs> uh, we can do... Okay, well that connected minus. Of course, these are just the same. Are they all... Hold on. They're all the same. Except for... These two. Well, no, not, not the same same. Each row has a cross and then a double bendy. Except for the bottom row. I don't know if that helps me. Ugh. Uh, well, that connected. Oh, hi. Well, the time time's up. I can't. Uh, is there anything to do down here while he's killing people? How exciting. Yeah, totally. Um, I don't know what to do with any of these. I don't know what number to hunt for for this one. There's just a broken pipe. Oh, hi. I mean, do I just die? I don't know what else. What are my options here? Uh, what about in here? We had questions about the garage. Oh, there's this thing. Oh, he's right there. Hi. Uh, open door? Nope. Just, just go. <laughs> hmm. That didn't work. Need to solve that puzzle faster. Oh, this is cool. Hmm. Alone with Cliff. Good. So at that point, I look to Gary and say that makes two of us. And Gary clearly wants to back down, but I don't want to back down. And we started, and we stared that guy down until he backed off. You intimidated him? Nah, he never wanted to fight. Turns out he was just joking. Cliff is a jerk face, um, but Cliff is like, Cliff is our friend, but Cliff is kind of upset at us that we moved away. Um, so he's been passive aggressive all night. And he's just, yeah, he's a bit of a jerk face. He's, he's jerk face friend. Uh, so that happened at the roadhouse, huh? Yup. Huh. I haven't been to the roadhouse since we were all together. The first time we watched the Perseids. That must have been, what, like three years ago? Yeah, we've all gathered at this house to watch the meteor shower. Uh, glad you had occasion to grace us with your presence again. Well, my grand died... Grandma died very conveniently. You wouldn't have come otherwise. And I thought Pete was the flaky one. Been really anxious about coming back. If my grandma was still alive, I probably wouldn't be here. Or I've been busy. Hmm. That's when the stabby crow thing shows up. 
Yeah, Stabby Crow thing shows up at the uh, in the night, I guess. The homunculus. Uh, but we keep we keep replaying the same night over and over again, but then we go to like flashback scenes in between. Um, I've been anxious. Let's open up the cliff. I've been busy. Oh, I couldn't. So relax. We we're supposed to be having fun here. We'll drink out of our out of dirty glasses and watch some falling space garbage, and it'll be great. But isn't the bar just outside of town? Where are we going? We're going to the site where I've been working. Why? And why are you telling me this now? We're gonna we're gonna get to the bar way after everybody else. I told the others a later start time. I wanted to make sure I didn't have to pick up my check alone. Your last check? Last time we talked, you seemed crazy about this job. Last time we talked was 14 months ago. Yeah, he's he's salty. My mom owed me some money. It's fine. Okay. Didn't we just pass the Riverside exit? Isn't that where you said the site was? Do you know what day that? Do you know what day it is, Emily? Probably not. August thirteenth. Friday, August thirteenth. So what? You're superstitious now. You didn't want to pick up your last check alone. Yeah. No kidding. Wait, are you afraid to go back there? Is that why you quit? Nobody sticks around these types of jobs for long. You either work a decade, tear your body up, or you quit before you're in too deep. Uh-huh. Buddy of mine. Martian kind of older guy. Wife and two kids. He's spotting another guy, Brian, and he's bringing down a dump truck full of gravel, laying a foundation. The, trunk, the truck hits a bundle of rebar. The scaffold collapses. Martin falls... Uh, Martin falls into the pit and the truck tips behind him just enough to dump all that gravel on top of him. Did Cliff take a dump on the boss's desk? <laughs> Probably. Seems like the kind of person to do that. Um, that all, I, Martin, kind of an older guy. He's chest deep in gravel now, but his arms are free. He's responsive, feeling okay. Miracle. But it turns out, I mean, that's 18 tons of gravel in there with him, right? All that weight, it's pushed all the oxygen and blood up to his brain. And below the waist, he's crushed. He's just one big bruise. When they pull him out of there, all the blood's going to go racing to his leg. And he's going to go into, his, into shock and his brain's going to die. So this is it. They bring in his family, explain the situation. They hug him, say goodbye. And when they winch him out, he's gone. I've heard similar things about um, people in train yards. You can get uh, you you get pinched between two two cars. Uh, you can lose the lower half of your body, but be oh, but be alive until they back the car back. So they put up like a tent. They let they let people say goodbye, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's awful, awful. <laughs> it's and it's a real thing. Uh, they pulled him out like that. You don't believe me? No, I believe you. It's just awful. It happened. It happened to somebody I knew, Emily. It's gonna happen to me. Either I live hard and die young like Martin, or I become a lumpy old asshole like my dad. Eyes on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Seen you die so many times. Mm -hmm. Don't mention it. Cliff is mad at us because we moved to the big city. We're like an illustrator. We're trying to do like comic stuff. It sounds like. Uh, so we moved to the big city to pursue an art career, and Cliff is here worrying about dying in a gravel pit. And upset at us because we left him. How long have we been driving for? Neat! Uh, okay. Uh, let's, let's get to the attic. <laughs> Let's do it for real this time. Uh, what's our number? 278. Uh, 
Come on. Okay. Power. Can do that much. Sounds like a cliff problem. I mean, I get it. I mean, he's being... He's being a dick about it, but... I feel like his... His gripes are a little valid. Uh, he's just being an asshole about it. Okay. This all makes sense. Yeah, so pl plus to plus, minus minus. These are all the same, right? Nothing changed here. Okay, let's try going backwards. We can do something like this, or we could go up, or can we even? We can't. So from here, we either go straight down, or we can go across, and then down. Uh, or we can loop up like that. Does that help us at all? We could do that. This is what we did last time, isn't it? Uh, and then, okay, and then we can do that, and then... And then nothing. So that don't that don't help. It means this goes this way. What what does happen when you match a plus one a minus? I think like the the panel kind of goes gray there for a second. I think it just like is a not good solution. Yeah, like if I collect these, then. Or what is... no, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Duh. Oh, but what if I do this? And then... same thing. We can't... Aha! There we go. Well, so that connected plus to minus, but here, minus to minus. Ugh. And then what? We can come down. These two are the same, so of course. Oh! Got it. Uh, let's go upstairs. Quickly, we're on a timer. Everything's on a timer. Then... Yeah, okay, so now this thing's on. Inspect device. Teal wire leads up to a box with a spotlight. I guess the power in the living room powers us on. Yes, sure. How oh, do I check machine? Oh. Oh, okay, so I need to make those... I understand. I need to light up these... these four. Hi, creature. Um, okay. Oh, got it! Sometimes you just gotta fumble around with it a bit. Okay, here's the attic. Note. One, two, three, four. Parker, again, I was locked out of the attic today because I couldn't solve your little puzzle. See? I don't understand what's so difficult about it. Next time you need to get into the attic, just press the buttons in this order. Thank you. Okay. So it gives us... 
like if we solve a puzzle, it gives us the solution kind of, so we don't have to do we don't have to do that whole power breaker thing next time to get up here. I'm not saying I want a guide to your puzzle. I'm saying you should install a normal lock. Oh, but now that's just in our memory, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Attic time. Light switch? Mm-hmm. Paper. Oh, that's for the basement. 733. Okay. That's good. Inspect board. Blueprints of the weird machine in the middle of the room. Is that thing Nest's accumulator? Presumably. Three cables run power into the accumulator from elsewhere in the house. Two generators and a weird machine. Okay. I guess all that power flows into the machine. I should follow the cables to find where the power comes from. Okay. Of course, they're color-coded. Okay, on this pyramid setup. Examine wire. Broken exposed wire. Touching this would be very bad. Touch! <laughs> oh, it was very bad! Got an achievement for it. It's not that bad. <laughs> Oh, hey! Don't the other kids seem like strangers to you? Huh? There's something kind of naive about them. It's quaint in a way, but it's so unlike how I remember them. That locker in the basement seems important, but it makes an error sound when you try to open it. The answer's gotta be somewhere else in the house, huh? Anyway, the killer starts every loop in this creepy old elevator. You've seen that, right? Mm, yeah, it brings the killer up to the, that crawl space next to the bedroom on the second floor, but it's impossible to get inside up there. Yeah, we saw him pop out in the computer room. We were we were doing Minesweeper and he popped out. Like right there. Um, so I think that's where he starts. And this, he's saying it's a loop. So, because of course it is. Uh, but he's on like a set path. Brings the killer up that up to that crawl space next to the bedroom. Yeah, we can like see, we can peek inside that wall. Uh, good luck out there, Emily. Hmm. Okay. Um, so presumably we can just go to the attic now. And not touch the wire this time. 